This video will continue to explore the sound system of Spanish as an example for understanding phonology more generally. Last time we looked at consonant and vowel phonemes and allophones. This time we're going to work through the stress and syllable structure in Latin American Spanish. Let's look at further sets of words in Spanish, this time paying attention not to the phonemes or to the allophones of those phonemes, but to the stress. Si, si. Ojalá, ojalá, ojalá. Cuento, cuento. Alivio, alivio, alivio. The words on the right hand side are marked with an asterisk and they don't exist in Spanish. So how does stress work in Spanish? To push you in the right direction, we find that accent plays some role in Spanish, but moving the accent to a different syllable doesn't always generate a new word. Some syllables are stressed, but others are unstressed. Let's ask a more basic question. How do syllables work in Spanish? In the IPA for language learning, we looked at possible syllable types. Now we move on to some examples that give us a sense of the phonotactics, the syllable structure of Spanish. Espero, estrella, yo sí lo sé. Bailar, ella planea. Para atrás, me faltas tú, la palabra flor. I've given you examples of Spanish accentuation and syllable structure, but what's going on here? Is accent contrastive in Spanish? Meaning, do we find minimal pairs that differ in accent placement only? Reducing syllables to consonant and vowel, what types of syllables exist in Spanish? Please join me next time to start learning about rules and environments.